What's up YouTube, I'm Zero Zeus and welcome back to another Baruto video. This is going to be my Baruto episode 151 review. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you for watching and let's get right into the video. Man, there is much to be talked about, a lot to be talked about. Like this was super hype, the intro was super hype, the outro was super hype. And like, I don't know man, it was just so many information bombs just threaded throughout the whole episode. It was just like really nice. Um, but we're going to talk about it. Um, the start off, you know, is right in the heat of the moment. You know, Baruto gets there. He's basically trying to defend Tento from Shoujoji. Like, if you read the manga, you already know where this is going. But for those people that didn't, the anime definitely did it correctly. I feel like I, I like the way that they did it. I was super on the edge of my seat, even though I knew exactly what was going to happen, right? Um, Baruto and Shoujoji basically he takes out all of uh, Shoujoji's henchmen in one fail swoop like it making Baruto look like super nice and you know he's ready for Shoujoji now right they have like a little exchange of like a few blows and you know Tento basically tells Baruto like hey you better watch out because this guy he'll he'll eat your brain he'll eat your brain and you know it kind of threw Baruto off a little bit you could see and you know, as they were fighting and stuff, you know, I, there was this one nice moment where, um, you know, I think Shoujoji had him like in his grasp, like he, he had him in a hold and he head butted him, flipped behind him and he kicked him down to the ground. It was like, that was a really, really funny moment like that. that like, I like how in these moments you see how when you see like Naruto and Sasuke like fighting momoshiki like they're so fast and so quick with it right and then when you see baruto versus shoujoji it's like all slowed down and you could really actually see what they're doing and like even though uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's cool they, they didn't have to do it like super quick or anything like that i was kind of fine with the pace of the fight i was definitely cool with that um baruto another thing i want to talk about is just he was just spamming Rasengan's left to right it like I, I like this he was throwing Rasengan's you know electrifying shurikens he was going back and forth he was by himself he was in real danger and it was just something really cool to see like um even though he always I guess he he had his um hidden ace in the hole right um and it just so happens to be Shoujoji's hidden ace right but anyway it come to find out like Shoujoji is a big dude you wouldn't think that he would be so quick, right? You just, I like how they exaggerate. You see, like, they put emphasis on how fast he moves. Um, I like that. I think that's really cool. Even though he doesn't look like he should be moving that fast. I'm not even going to lie about that, but yeah, that's okay. I thought that was really cool. Um, you know, Shoujoji, besides the corpse clone jutsu, I think it was, like, Zephyr. It, it's Zephyr Shield. It's something like that. But either way, he can... um. Any jutsu, supposedly any jutsu, he can like deflect it back to the ju to the user, right? And so that like that really makes him like that makes him really dangerous. Like you can't basically you can't run up on him and hit him with like a blaster or something like that. It had to be hand to hand combat or or something because like anything. I guess I don't want to say chakra based because you don't know if that, but I'm just say chakra based. Anything chakra based, I think he could block it back if I'm not mistaken. Um, so you just have a nice old, like, a, you just see a whole bunch of Baruto, just Rasengan, 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 just trying to hit this guy from every which way, and I like how, even though Sojoji, he's like a big fat dude, and all he's talking about is like eating, and I like how I still, f you could feel the danger was there, like, if Baruto slipped up, this wasn't one of those things that he could just one off, and it was over with, like, he actually needed help when it came down to it in the end. And a lot of people like to take away from him just because of the fact, like, you know, Tento helped them. So basically, he didn't win the fight on his own. And Sara and Mitsuki, you know, spoiler alert, they come at the end and they basically help him out. But it's like he still had those moments when he had to get down to the gritty on his own. And I respect that. I respect Baruto for that. And. You know, no, he's not the most powerful dude, most powerfulest dude ever, but he, he he carried his weight, and I think that was really cool. Um, like you see on the screen here, they had a whole lot of moments where you know Shoujoji, they were not pulling any punches as far as violence goes. Like I don't know him, like 
him basically revealing to Baruto that um, he killed Kokiri. And they showed it on the screen, him turning into him, himself and eating Kokiri's brain underwater. Like, that's crazy. Like, the way they drew it and stuff was, like, pretty nice. But, um, yeah, that's, that's like, sad for Kokiri. But, like, Shojoji, he's just in and winning. And he'll do whatever he has to do. I was just, like, wondering if they would ever reveal, like... Will they reveal to Baruto what happened to Kokiri, or will they try to be soft about it and like brush it off a little bit? But um, they actually did. They actually dropped the bomb, even though I was talking to somebody and they were basically explaining how like it might have been a little bit better off if Baruto would have figured out on his own. It probably the payoff probably would have been better. But hey, sometimes you, you win, you, you lose. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really hype. I thought that was really hype. Um, it's just like Bruto and Tinto was everything that I expected it to be and, and more like they definitely did a good job of the way that it looked, the way that the fighting looked, it definitely kept me intrigued and wanted me to like, I kept looking at the screen, even though I already knew the outcome. Like, and I think that's like something that you really need to point out. Like I already seen this. And it makes me want to watch it again. And I think that's something really cool. And another thing. Let's talk about that karma sale. Um, so you have this moment when a diamond on his hand. He's like doing a Rasengan. And a diamond on his hand gets like really big. And the Rasengan goes away. So obviously the seal absorbed <laughs> the energy, right? Absorbed the chakra. And so it, it looks like it's over with. You know, they go back to throwing blows a, a couple of other times. And it's another time. Where, you know, Baruto is about to end the fight. I think this is after Tinto has already hit Shoujoji in the back with a shuriken and stuff like that. And he goes to hit him with one last Rasengan and he falls flat on the ground. And basically, Karma Seal, it expanded across his hand, going to like his wrist and stuff. You know, like straight out of the manga. And I just thought that was like really cool. Seeing that on the screen for the first time, seeing it light up blue. And I don't know, that was just like really cool. It's something that people have been waiting for. So... You know, I was happy to see that. Um, and Shojoji, he thinks that it, it's his time. He's going to take advantage of this little situation, right? And so he goes, he's thinking he's about to um, devour Baruto and um, Tinto. And Mitsuki and Sara to show up. And they definitely do him dirty. They definitely do him dirty. Uh, um, I, think that's, I think that's pretty funny. I think that's pretty funny. He was just in the middle of giving his dialogue and stuff. And she just kicked him. <laughs> like, that was funny. Um, and you know the whole story. Like, they basically get in trouble for abandoning their mission to come and help Baruto. But you knew in some type of way they weren't going to just let him go after this boss, this dangerous mission, this dangerous thing alone. So, you know, big plus for the teammates. Um, Konohomaru Homaru basically scolds them and you know he gives them big ups for going and you know saving um Tinto but at the same time you know they st it's still consequences for what they did and you know Baruto being an OG he, he's like you know don't 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 um get mad at everybody you know just I should receive the punishment and you know you know it doesn't work like that everybody in the group has to be in trouble even though you made a mistake or something like that so yeah um Another thing I wanted to talk about I thought was really funny, um, the, the Sasuke scene. When he shows up and Shoujoji is, like, all subdued and stuff. After Boruto beat him and everything, like, Boruto and everybody beat him up and stuff. Um, he was not trying to give, I think, Ibiki and Sai, he was not going to give them no answers. And then, like, soon as Sasuke walked in the room, all of the hardness in his heart just left. And he basically spilled everything he knew and you know we get our first look at like we hear don't get me wrong carl was all in the intro but we hear them say carl on the screen and i, I man that that was just as hype as it gets that's just as hype as it gets like i'm pretty sure like youtube is on fire right now with you know Bruto stuff because this is like really big um but yeah it was a, a really nice episode i was definitely happy with it i'm pretty sure like always there's probably some people out there who weren't but um I'm going to end the video right here. This has been my Baruto episode 151 review. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next video.